In this section, we will see about REST resources and documentations in offline and online. To see the offline documentations installed in local system, use the command restup doc dash as help. This lists the available documentation in local system. The offline documentations that we have are listed as flags. To open those documents, use the command restup doc and specify the flag. Now let's open the rest book. Type the command restup doc dash dash book. In the beginning, I learned rest from this book. It has plenty of topics and concepts that are required for new beginner. So I took this book as a baseline for this rest course. Next, open the book REST by example. Type the command REST up doc dash dash REST dash by dash example. This book has plenty of example categorized as topics. I took many examples from this book. Next, open cargo book. Rest up doc dash dash cargo. This is related to package management. I take many commands from this book. As you know, I used this for our cargo commands video. Next, open Rust reference book. Rest up doc dash dash reference is the command to open this book. This is the primary reference for the language constructs like syntax, grammar, like that. Next open Rust standard library. Command is Rust up doc dash dash std. We will use this for our reference. It is all documentation and statements that we used from Rust standard library. Let's try one of them. Vec is the vector like an array in other languages. It shows all methods and examples. You can get these documents from the web also. What about external grades? You can get external grades documents from docs.rs. For example, let's search for MongoDB. This is the official MongoDB driver for Rust. In all items, it shows all MongoDB's documentation for struts, traits, and implementations. Let's search for method collection. It shows the result categorized as in names, in parameters and in return types. Let's select one of it. It gives syntax for that. It's an usual method. For some methods, it shows examples too. We will learn this as we grow in this course. Next, we will see about REST repositories. Crates.io, lib.rs, restrepo.com. These are package index like npm, maven, and nuget. Crates.io, the Rust community's crate registry. For example, let's search email client. It shows all related crates. I used letter create to send emails. Let's search PDF generate. It shows all related crates. I used gen PDF crate to build reports as PDF. And the next rep Rust repository is lib.rs. Here all crates are grouped as its usage. So we can get related crates as easy. Next, restrepo.com. Here also crates are grouped. Let's search for template engine. You can find Terra, Handlebar and more.
and the next is rust playground play.rustlang.org this is the online rust language playground you can run or build or test your project and also you can build as a web assembly module from here you can choose the optimization level that is debug build or release build you can select a rust version from current stable version or from beta channel or from nightly version you can also enable or disable rust edition and the playground has some tools rust fmt clippy mirri interpreter and expand macros in code and you can configure your online editor themes as your choice using the config ed button in this playground you can use many external crates in your rust program let's run this rust program it executes and prints the result You can see the complete list of crates that the playground support is from here. This is the list you can use it in your program. As from the Rust installation page, it's clearly stated you may need to install the visual studio c++ build tools and the same is even more clear in rust language book also you need to install windows 10 sdk and language pack if you are in windows this is the build tools download page that is referred there After installing build tools it shows like that Here I selected C++ development and Windows 10 SDK and C++ CMake tools and MSV build tools Only after you install build tools you will get developer command prompt for VS 2019 here you can run cmake and nmake this is required to build some packages in rust this build tool will be installed as an additional when you install node js so kindly ensure if you already have it 